It is with great reluctance today, my fellow WellPod members, that I don the mask of the Cthulhu once again for my favorite pack offer in all of Raid Shadow Legends. I am, of course, referring to the pack offer of seven Void Shards for $25. This effectively comes down to about three and a half dollars a shard or so. It's basically a gigantic one-time no whammies pack. These are my favorite kind. I'm going to buy out these pack offers and watch myself completely get destroyed once again and be surprised when it happens. All right, we have gone ahead and made a horrible mistake and let's collect upon our horrible mistake. Man, you know you made a really bad one when it takes a while to collect the items. There we go, we're back up to 4,000 gems, and we have a nice, solid, fat, 35 void shards. I would say one-time no whammies, but this is well and beyond one-time no whammies. And also, I wanna do a quick shout out and say thank you to everyone that participated in the poll I put out. Over a thousand people voted, and the majority of the people said they want to see more content than Raid Shadow Legends. I think last time I looked, it was 58% of people voted that, uh, yeah, please start doing videos more than just Raid. We wanna see you doing more than just opening shards and making guides about this game. We're interested in some other things uh, on your channel as well. So thank you very much for the people that voted on that. Uh, because of that poll and the response there, a lot of people said they wanna see Black Desert online. And so I am willing to follow what the community wants to see. I've been enjoying that game myself as well. So after this video, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on the first impressions video of Black Desert Online and give you a non-sponsored, non-affiliated, just honest to God impression uh, of that game for you guys. All right. And with that being said, as is tradition, one time no whammies, all of the things I say repetitively on this channel, I'm very excited. This is, I think, the second largest Void Shard opening I have ever done. Um, I, I, where was the one? I did like a hundred void charts and I opened like a hundred void charts one time. Uh, but that was a community opening. It wasn't all my shards. I think only like 28 of them were my shards. So this might actually be the most void shards in a row I've ever opened just for myself. And the odds of me getting a legendary are very low. The rares that I still need, uh, for the fusion are just pain Smith. So if I do pull a pain Smith, that's great. Is that man either? Oh! I was going to say Pain Eater or Man Eater is the only epic I still need, man, except Madame. Oh, there he is. That is so exciting. You guys have no idea how long I've been waiting for Man Eater. You guys know how often I've been complaining about Paidma and Man Eater. Um, wow. So I finally got him, man. That's very exciting for this move alone. Unkillable and block debuffs. What a move. And, and, and the decreased attack. Man, I... I'm so excited. Finally got him. I got 30 shards left. And you know what would almost be the smart thing at this point? Like, <laughs> we're what, halfway through this video? We got 30 shards left. The Almost the smart thing would just be wait, just wait for double drops. But you guys don't want that. Don't worry. We're going to open the shards. It's a video. We're going to keep going. And we'll see if we get rewarded by Plarium for... Uh, investing in the dopamine for the world. Oh, can we get something good? Oh, was that Lua? Yeah. Lua's not bad. I kind of think she's like okay for dungeons early on. The attack all enemies three times is pretty cool. I don't really think it matters if it heals her, but that's not bad. Uh, fully depleting target term either is pretty good too uh, when when you are a void character because it's, it's pretty hard to get that resisted. Oh, another epic. Okay, we're kind of on fire with the epics. There's Towering Titan. He's one of the ones for the fusion. If I don't already have him, that'd be great. If we pull Basher or Painsmith, then I can go straight into Tormin. So it was $125 for these shards. I'm honestly not that mad about $125 bucks on these shards. That's about the best deal for the void shards they're ever going to do. I mean, 35 void shards for $125 bucks plus whatever gems it gets. It, when you're a massive like Kraken and you waste money like I do on this game, that, I mean, you do that one every time because that's basically about as good as it gets in this game. I will always buy those void shards for that price, the, the seven for 25. I'll buy it every time and I'll open it every time. But that's basically 
about where my account's at. I, I, as you guys have seen, the shard openings have slowed down significantly, and it's been a lot more just discussion and things like that, because I'm at a point where I don't really need to spend that much money on this game anymore. And now that I've pulled Man either, the epic, who was one of the epics I really want, I was waiting on, really all I'm trying to do with these void shards at this point is just snipe. Uh, there's another skill book, I guess, with a Lua. At this point, we're just trying to snipe legendaries, is all it really is. Wow, man, I'm really on fire with the... Oh, another Seer, okay. You know, double Seer could be interesting because I have Shamrock. Uh, I might hang on to her. What if I get like a double Shamrock, <laughs> double Seer team? Something funny. But we are pulling a lot of epics. I'm going to have a lot of champion chase points. I wonder if I'll get... Oop, lag? Hello? Oh my god, I thought we were going to get a legendary because of the lag. Sometimes when you lag, you'll get a legendary. You want to be the absolute worst? It, oh man, another epic. 8%. Okay, another Golden Reaper. This is my second Golden Reaper, I believe. She's okay, but this move right here, um, the bummer part about this move is it can still trigger on moves that, like, uh, that already are on cooldown from my Hermes of Bug. I don't know if they ever fixed that or not. They might have. Actually, I think they did. I think I read one of the, the patch notes they fixed that. What is this, Fellhound? No, Stitch Beast. All right, speaking of Fellhound, I pulled Fellhound. You know how we all got one free Void Shard recently? I pulled, man, another epic. I have fourth Skull Crown. This is my fourth Skull Crown. So now I can actually build the four Skull Crown Dream Team for Arena coming to a, uh, a theater near you. We're, for 8% epics, we're pulling in the same amount of epic. I bet we're going to dominate this champion chase because of how many epics we're pulling. Or not. I'm still jealous of Kyra Mobile's Venus. Venus is what I need. I, oh, there's the Pain Smith. Great. So that means I can do Torment Fusion and hopefully get that video out today. That was the only thing I was waiting on, boys. That is, that's awesome. Okay. I'm, that means uh, I know what I'm working on now. As soon as this video is over. Uh, live stream. That's what that means. After this video is going to be a live stream, boys, because I'm going to be fusing Torment live and working on him. So catch me over at twitch.tv slash Darth Microtransaction as soon as this video is posted because I am going to go fuse Torment. And Skeleton, we got six chances left for a Legendary here. For as many Epics as we... There's Fellhound. For as many Epics as we have gotten, uh, I can't really expect anything else. I'm happy with just Man either. 125 bucks, not worth just Man either, but it, that's the person I needed still. So as far as the polls go, there's like my millionth Cold Heart. At this point, Cold Hearts are, are just chickens. Okay, another Epic. Cardinal. I really like Cardinals. Uh, I, want, I have this dream idea of an all car, cardinal plus like a Kaimar <laughs> or like three cardinals plus a uh, pain keeper. You know, something crazy. I've been hanging on to my cardinals for just that reason. I like hanging on to like all these weird characters just to try to do something. All right, one time no whammy is the last one. Let's see what we get. I'm okay with that opening. That was fun. There's a bulwark. That was a fun low opening. Now I got Payne Smith. Uh, so if we go look at the, oops, what am I doing leaving here? If we go look at the fusion here, yeah, all I gotta do is, is level this bad boy up here, and ching bada bing, we're gonna be good. I'm gonna have to, oh yeah, I gotta do the potions on him. These guys are already done. That's it. All right, I'm gonna go work on this now live, so if you would like to see Tormund get fused, tested, and figured out live, come catch me over at twitch.tv slash Darth Microtransaction. I'll leave a pinned comment and put it in the top of the description. I love you all. I'll see you on the live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed this $125 sacrifice. Uh, it's just for fun. I've been, I've, can I just say real quick at the end here, I have been enjoying the heck out of YouTube lately. I, I really love you guys as a community. You guys are fantastic. I love the well pod. I love this underwater cheesy theme we got going on. Um, just everything's going great. Uh, the reality of things is uh, everything's going great, and I appreciate it. Thanks for all the subs. We're still getting subs like mad, and uh, just I'm, I'm happy to be part of it, guys. I love y'all, and I'll see you on the next one.